new segment we're starting here on Dave FM called the Dave FM Casting Couch. And I want to introduce to you Bill Marinella. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Even though we've known each other for a while, but we have let's indeed. pretend we're first meeting. Okay, hi. Okay, Bill is here for the Dave FM Casting Couch because you are a big time casting director in town. I don't know that I'm a big time casting director, but I certainly am working an awful lot. Thank you for the compliments. And uh, my job is to cast paid extras, thousands of paid extras on many multiple TV shows and feature films. And that's what I do here. All right. So th- the message about this is A, to let people know about all the productions that are here in the Atlanta area. Can you just name a couple off the top of your sure, head? Sure. I can give you a couple that I'm doing right now. I'm doing Drop Dead Diva, the TV series, which is shot in Peachtree City. And that is um, a fantastic production. It airs on the Lifetime Network. It partnered up with Sony. And we also have right now currently casting, which is a fun, crazy show. The whole gang is back for American Reunion, which is also known as American Pie 4. So Stifler, Eugene Levy, the whole nine yards, they're all back. So we're currently casting as we speak right now, People for Tomorrow. For American Reunion. For American Reunion. That's okay. Correct. So what Bill's going to be coming on every week and talking about is how, how you, maybe you're out of work. Maybe you want to get into the entertainment business. There are a lot of jobs and there's a lot of money to be made. There is. This is a stepping stone, absolutely, to get started. This is the stepping stone. You start out doing extra work, you know, and um, you never know. You could get a speaking line. If you get a speaking line and you're, you're what they call an upgrade, you could make up to $1,000 for the day. So let's be very frank about what it is being an extra. It is a long day. <laughs> it's a very long day. It's a 12 to 14 hour day. Right, but you can make in a 12 to 14 hour day, how you'll, much are you coming you'll home make with? Just, after taxes, you should make just over about a hundred and some odd dollars. So, okay. you'll, you know, we'll feed you lunch. We pay daily overtime. It's a great lunch. It's a great breakfast. And uh, we may not never necessarily make you rich, but we just might make you famous. All right, but people have had speaking lines absolutely. and it has gone much further with, with be, just being an extra. Sure, absolutely. You'll show up as one of maybe 20 extras and the director or, or the producer will say, you know, the scene just isn't working. We need a waiter to come over and actually introduce, uh, you know, what's on the menu to uh, the main actor. So a lot of times those are called upgrades and they'll audition people on the spot and you can get a speaking line. That's pretty interesting. We're on with Bill Marinella from Marinella Ca- Casting. So you are looking for people for American Reunion? American Reunion, Drop Dead Diva, and we have another show that shoots here that takes place in Long Island, New York. It's called Necessary Roughness. And for that, we'd really like to get some of those big-haired Long Island, uh, New Jersey housewife types, you know. Uh, So if you're from Long Island and have that swagger, we'd love to have you. Come on down for a day. Okay. Uh, All right. So all the information to get be a part of this, the casting couch, every week you're going to come in and tell Mm -hmm. us about the upcoming productions. And there are a lot going on. I mean, between this, I know your rival's Walking Dead, but that's a big show going on. That's a fantastic show. Uh, uh, Also, Three Stooges being Mm -hmm. filmed here. And you're always, you're tapped into all of these opportunities. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, We want you to go to dave.fm slash casting couch to get more information. Bill, uh, very good information. Make some money. Be in pictures. Bill, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for having me. Well, there is a lot of exciting stuff going on in entertainment as far as things being shot here in the Atlanta area, and you're constantly looking for people to work. There's big yes. money to be made. There is there is a good chance to make some big money, and also it's a lot of steady employment. You can go from one show to the next. You know, I have several shows, so you might work on one show on Monday and a different show on Wednesday, so it's a perfect opportunity to get your feet wet. So do you have some of your star players like, oh, I know this person's going to be good for that, where you get like people in a file for sure. different things? Yeah, we have everybody categorized categorized by uh, like I'll give you an example like for instance um, on Drop Dead Diva we need a bailiffs all the time so okay. we try to get a file of anybody that's like 5'10 and above that's like a 44 to 46 jacket with a nice square jaw it takes place in California so we like to get some people with tans and mm-hmm. some kind of an interesting haircut as a, I mean we are in the south and people look a little bit different so it's nice to to find a variety of mixes now I'm looking at your list sorry I'm cheating and looking at your notes and it's I, I like this <laughs> necessary roughness which is a show that you're casting that's right. um, and it's it says Greek, Italian, Jewish, olive skin. So right. you ha- you have to kind of fall into stereotypes to cast es- extras. We, you know, we do. I mean, let's face it. It takes uh, a lot of the shows that are shot here may or may not necessarily take place in Atlanta for throughout the entire show, the shoot or written as Atlanta. However, 
uh, we do need to find uh, some of the stereotypical types. I mean, like I need the the Greek gals from uh, my big fat Greek wedding, and I need you know some of the New York Puerto Ricans, you know, for you know for the whole necessary roughness kind of a thing. It takes place in Long Island, so we need the big hair. Sure, and I think you'll find it here. Tell oh, me yeah. what an average day is like for someone who's yeah. an extra. Tell me, I, I, I get down to the nitty gritty. How much money do you make, and what are you doing? Basic extra work is sixty four dollars for eight hours. However, we never work an eight hour day. It's almost always a twelve hour day. You should be prepared one hundred percent to spend a twelve. 12 to 13 to 14 hour day on set. By the time your check comes, it takes about three weeks, you'll make just about 100 bucks. You know, the state of Georgia does not require anyone to pay daily overtime. However, in the motion picture industry, we do because that's considered a normal industry standard. So that's actually a good thing. And we feed you a nice lunch, depending on what set you're on. Uh, Drop Dead Diva is probably one of the best lunches I've ever had. And I go down there oftentimes just for lunch. And what do they think of that? Oh, they love it. They love. They love. They love when I test their food. I'm so, sure they know. do. So it, it's a, it could be a 12 hour day. Yeah. You need to prepare to bring yourself a book. Right. Bring a book. Bring an apple. Bring you know. Bring an i you know something small like an iTunes player. Something small. You don't want to take pictures on set, but obviously with cell phones you have little things to keep yourself busy. Um, but definitely bring your two forms of ID. This is really important. As required by law, you know you absolutely have to have a driver's license and a social security card. And if you don't have that, there are other forms of acceptable documents that okay. we will provide for you on the website that you can look at. So you believe that there's work for somebody every day. I mean, when we just first started the idea of doing this segment, mm-hmm. we, we wanted to know if there was enough work out there. So you're saying there's enough work out there. It's kind of endless. I would say that right now it's going to be endless till at least 2013 or 14, the way the tax credit systems are built here. You know, infrastructure's coming in. Panavision just opened their company here, an actual, I think like a 50,000 square foot warehouse. So you can imagine if Panavision's going to leave Los Angeles or ad- additionally open an office here, that's a big risk. So if they're taking the risk, we're all taking the risk. So the point is, you're absolutely right. There's a lot of work. It is pretty much endless. I mean, I've got shows that work on the weekends sometimes. So you're talking, you know, seven days a week, I'm on the phone booking extras. Wow. Yeah. So there's a lot of work to be made. It's That's a great correct. thing in this economy. So mm-hmm. I think you're helping a lot of people out, but it's not for everybody in right. the sense that you're looking for specific people for different things. Right. Every show is different. For instance, um, on American Reunion, we have a whole group of people that are going to be 18 years old to look younger that will be in one segment of the show. Then there's a very clear defining edge of what the other half of the people look like. And that would be like probably 28 to 35 years old, which would be the age of the actual people at the reunion party. So there's a very clear distinction between ages and ethnicities and just general all looks. You know, we have to reflect real life. So you would say if I'm someone who's acting Mm -hmm. and wants to get in the entertainment industry, this may be a good way to get to know a director or to get to be in the right place at the right time? Sure. I mean, I can give you an example. Um, at the, being in the right place at the right time. Uh, we recently did an episode of Drop Dead Diva where we had cheerleaders, and that was their special skill, was that they're 18 to 20 years old and they were real cheerleaders. And five of them got upgraded principal contracts because the director, Tim Matheson, loved them so much and gave them a specific cheer. And this is something they do every day. So there, there really wasn't any skill level. They came in and they were themselves. And so they got upgraded. And sometimes uh, we have people repeat often over and over and over again on the show because we like the look of the so-called office that we're you know, trying to, trying to pick out. So you will come back multiple days. All right. Well, sounds pretty exciting to me. Uh, number one, getting into the entertainment business. Right. Number two, uh, it may be a long day. You do get lunch, but it's a great way to pick up extra money if it you sure are out is. of work. Uh, you're on the page right now, but remember and spread it around, dave.fm slash casting couch. Great to see you, and we'll see you next week. Great. See you then.